Hey, what's up everyone? Craig here with Weeping Willow Guitar Lessons. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at Jerry Garcia's solo on Mississippi Half Step, Uptown Toodaloo. All right, this version comes from July 24th, 1987, and you can find it on View From The Vault, Volume 4. All right, this is a great show, a great solo, and uh, without further ado, let's grab our guitars and get going. Alright, so first let's take a look at the chords Jerry's soloing over. Alright, so this is an interlude section that comes after the chorus. And so we have a specific set of chord changes for this interlude. And that's in which the solo takes place. So we start with an A minor chord. Then we have an A minor major 7. Then A minor 7. Then we have a D9. Then F, D minor, then we have a B, and then an E7. Then we go back to A minor, A minor major 7, A minor 7, D9, then we have F, and this time we go to A minor. Then we have D7, and then G7. All right, so we have some um, non-diatonic chords in here. So as usual, Jerry, when he's playing over chords, he'll use chord shapes to navigate, and he plays over the changes. So we start off with our A minor to A minor major seven move. So the first bar sounds like this. All right, so he's starting on the major seventh, and then he's playing the root, so it's six, seven, six, seven on the fourth string. And then we have fifth fret of the third string, seventh fret, ninth fret, then 8, 10 on the 2nd string. So that's right out of the A minor pentatonic scale. And then we play the 7th fret of the 1st string. So this is a B. So it's the ninth of an A minor 7 chord. So we have... Then we're going to play 8, 7, 8 on the 1st string, and then we have a triplet. We're pulling off 10, 8, 7 on the 1st string, then 8th fret of the 1st string, 10th fret of the 2nd. Alright, so now we're over the D9 chord, and we have... So we're pulling off 8 to 7 on the 1st string, 10, 8 on the 2nd, then sliding from 9 to 7 on the 3rd, 5, 7, 5. So that C, 5th fret of the 3rd string, that's the flat 7 and a D9. And as we go to an F chord, you know, that holds over the bar, and that's now the 5th of an F. And then... So you can think of playing right out of the A minor pentatonic scale here, but we're over an F chord, and we have 7th fret, 5th fret, then we're bending the 7th fret up a whole step, releasing, pulling off to the 5th fret, and then the 7th fret. So those two measures sound like this. And then we have... All 
right, so this is a really cool phrase here. So we start on the 5th fret of the 3rd string, and basically we're playing 5th fret of the 3rd string, then 7th fret of the 4th string. Um, I added in these extra details because it shows that instead of Jerry's just playing, he's got... He adds some extra little ghosted notes to add interest and keep it rhythmically interesting. So we have... So we have the 5th fret of the 3rd string, and then we have the 5th fret of the 1st string that's played very um, lightly. And then we have the 7th fret of the 4th string, and then again another light rhythmic note, it's the open 3rd string. And then we have 6, pull off 5 on the 2nd string, 7th fret of the 3rd string, 6th fret of the 3rd string. Alright, so we have the 7th fret of the 3rd string, 5th fret of the 2nd, then we're going to slide from the 7th fret to the 9th fret of the 3rd string, repeat that 9th fret, then we have 10th fret of the 2nd, 7th fret of the 2nd, so we're going from the flat 7 to the 5th, and then we have the root. So that's the 9th fret of the 4th string, and then we have 8th fret, 7th fret. We're walking down to the 7th fret and then we slide down to the 6th fret and then we play the 7th fret of the 5th string and that's over the E7 chord so you can see that E7 right in there We're playing out of that shape then we have an open D string that's the flat 7th and then we're going to slide the flat 7th into the root or the 7th fret of the 3rd string into the 9th fret of the 3rd string. So here's those two measures. Alright, now for the A minor chord, we're going to slide from the 8th fret to the 9th fret. So we're playing the flat 5 to the 5th of the A minor, playing that 9th fret again, and then we have the 10th fret of the 1st string. Then we have the 8th fret of the 1st string, followed by 10th fret of the 2nd, 9th fret of the 3rd. So that's an A minor triad. But again, instead of just going... After we play the 8th fret of the 1st string, then we have a muted note. So again, adding rhythmic interest. And then the 8th fret of the 2nd string, 10th fret, 8th fret of the 2nd string. And then we're going to bend that 9th fret of the 2nd string up a half step to A. So we're over the A minor major 7 chord and we're bending the major 7th up a half step to the root and then releasing it to the major 7th. Right, then over A minor 7, we play the 8th fret of the 2nd string. And then we're going to slide from the 9th fret of the 3rd string to the 7th fret of the 3rd string. And this is interesting because when Jerry does that, then he quickly switches fingers and bends that 7th fret up. And you don't even hear it happen, it's just very smoothly. And then I kind of have a muted 2nd string. I'm not sure if he really gets that, but then he releases that 7th fret of the 3rd string and plays the 5th fret of the 3rd string. So we have... Alright, then we have the 5th fret of the... So this is over a D9. We have the flat 7th, or C, that's the 5th fret of the 3rd string, then... 6th fret of the 4th, 7th fret of the 4th. So we're walking up chromatically from a chromatic neighbor tone to the 5th of a D chord, A. 
Then we have that flat seventh again. Then our root, seventh fret of the third string, and then a ninth, which is the fifth fret of the second string. So we're over that D9. Then we're gonna play the sixth fret of the second string. So that's F, and we're now over an F chord. So we're playing the root. So F, then we have the seventh fret of the third string. So seven, then six of the second, and fifth of the first. So we're playing a uh, D minor triad over an F chord. So that gives us the sixth, the root, and the third. Then we're gonna pull off from eight, six, five on the second string. It's a triplet. And then seventh fret of the third, fifth fret of the third. All right, let's take that from the pickup note of the A minor. All right, now over an A minor chord, we slide from the seventh fret down to the fifth fret. That's our root to our flat seventh. And then pull off from five to the four, fifth fret to the fourth fret twice. Then we have the 5th fret of the 5th string, 3rd fret of the 4th string, and then we're going to slide from the 4th fret to the 5th fret of the 5th string. And now we're in position, this is our D7 chord. So we play the 5th fret of the 5th string, 4th fret of the 4th, so that's the root to the 3rd, back to the 5th fret of the 5th string. Then we have the 5th fret of the 4th string. So we play that once, then we play it two more times. So once we do this, now Jerry gets in position for a G chord. So we play the fifth fret again, and then one more time followed by the third fret of the fourth string. Then we have this walk up into the C chord, so third fret of the sixth string. Open 5th string, 2nd fret, and then 3rd fret, C. And that's where the verse starts in the C chord. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, throw a comment down below, and I will catch you next time. Alright, see ya.